Papers, Please is a game that looks like it should have been out on the ZX Spectrum back in the 80s. But don't let its 8-bit graphics and retro styling put you off, because underneath those graphics is a game that will actually really surprise you. The premise of the game is simple. You work for passport control for Ostosa, an invented Eastern Bloc-style communist country. Following the end of a six-year war with neighbouring Kalechia, the borders are now in place and marshalled vigilantly. Your aim is relatively simple. Only allow people into the country who have the correct paperwork. Sounds easy, right? Well, the more people approved for entry correctly, the better your pay packet and you will need a decent wage if you are to look after your large family, who we'll get onto a bit later. In order to correctly process a person for entry into Ostosa, they must first have a passport. The game starts easily enough, but then it gets steadily more difficult. Next, it might be from people from a certain country can get in, but there might be discrepancies between their passport and their physical appearances, such as their height or their gender. Given enough time, you could find every error, but sadly time is limited, so you must quickly race through the checks, trying not to make a mistake. Should you make an error, then you will get a warning, and after three such warnings, you'll get fired. Worse still is that some people are actually terrorists, and the ones that you let through, and even some of the ones that you don't, will actually bomb the terminal, meaning that you have to be ready to sound the alert if you spot a runner. The game has layer upon layer of depth, adding additional obstructions from a simple entry ticket to accompany a passport, to moral bending NPC interactions. You will find yourself having to make life-changing decisions for people as entire families come through, but with a mother whose papers are not in order. Prostitutes who are trying to escape their pimps, spies, smugglers, and even people traffickers. And finally, to top it all off, you have your own good-for-nothing family to worry about as well. There are a constant drain on your earnings, and they're buying food and getting ill. The player has to balance the speed at which they allow entry uh, with your own morals and with your own family responsibility. All of which are heavy concepts for a game that wouldn't look out of place on a Commodore 64. Outside of its month-long story mode, the game switches to an endless mode which will keep hardcore fans busy but will lose many players as they would have already gone through the story mode. Overall, this game is strangely enjoyable and worthy of all of its notoriety. Even though the very thought of stamping passports all day is desperately boring, when it is mixed up with the communism and the Cold War mentality, it becomes unusually intriguing and even fun. Papers, Please seems to encapsulate the isolation of an immigration inspector whilst playing with your moral compass. You will slowly be driven to do your job more efficiently, even if this means turning your back on innocent members of society, and you will be constantly trying to justify your decisions and follow orders in order to feed and care for your own family. Glory to Ostosia. If you want more, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe, or click the link for even more reviews.